Patty Wagstaff, who is a three-time U.S. National Aerobatic Champion, the first woman to win that title, one of the most popular air show performers on Earth, flies what she calls hardcore aerobatics. The six-time member of the U.S. Aerobatic Team, she's won the gold, silver, and bronze medals the Betty Skelton First Lady of Aerobatics, the Raleigh Cole Memorial Trophy, the International Council of Air Show, Sword of Excellence, and on and on, based in Fort, or in, uh, in Fort Lauderdale, St. Augustine, Florida, and she flies for Goodrich. This is the Goodrich Extra 300S, as she has taken the airplane up into a beautiful torque roll, now lets it back down through its own smoke, it falls out the side, and uh, she is going to... Uh, to fly it back in towards center point here, pull it up over the top, and uh, fly the avalanche. And she beats this airplane up pretty good while she's flying this, and she snaps it once, two, and airs three times and burns it to a third. And she continues over the top and all the way around. She's going to fly a couple of maneuvers that I absolutely love to watch, and I'll tell you about them as they're coming up. Now she pulls uh, straight up in the air. She uh, starts to uh, get the airplane uh, loaded up on the aileron, but the tail starts to try to pass her, and they call it a flip top. She pushes around into a shoulder roll, and she'll come out here, watch her, as uh, I think she's going to probably reposition out here and try to fly it into a slider. And this is, you know, like here, right here, she throws the airplane over her shoulder, that's a slider. She flies straight up and climbs 45 degrees off to the left. Holy cow! All right. The watcher is over bringing it uh, around here to fly one half cube and eight. She just flew several snaps in a row for you. She uh, wants to take a beat down the runway, a series of high rate airline rolls, holds it upside down, and pushes into the first part of the cube and eight. This is the cube and eight. Everything is going to be done backwards. As she goes negative up over the top, floats for just a moment as she comes down. Now the airplane has to be upside down, but she snaps it one and a half times to put it into that attitude. And again, she pushes, she bounces up about 100 feet above the ground. Pushes the stick forward. She pushes it in through the uh, outside octagonal loop. She's going to do this again in a while, but with a little different twist as she pushes through side six, there's side seven, and finally side eight. get a few feet between her and the ground as she flies a couple of snaps at the top right there she pushes it over the top that's that uh, the uh, the hammerhead as she does a three-quarter roll on the way down and uh, I think she's gonna try to flip slider here and try to push it into a flat turn and this is one of those things when we tell you how to fly they say you can't do this with an airplane and Patty apparently never never quite read that chapter in the book how to fly and it's right up there you saw her in perfect control Shoves it into a skidding turn around to the right side. Over to the left of center right now. Patty's got a ribbon set up, and so she does it uh, halfway through her act because she says, ain't no big bang. Ain't no bang. Look over right where she is right now. The ribbons are right there. They're 22 feet above the ground. They are 50, uh, 40 feet apart. And Patty is going to attempt to cut that ribbon in just a moment when she gets her nerve up. She says she's working on it, making sure the airplane's working on like the beautiful Goodrich Extra 300S. As uh, she takes another look at it, come back down here, she's proud to be sponsored by the Goodrich Corporation of Charlotte, North Carolina, right there over the river. Goodrich is one of the world leading aerospace companies within its many divisions and subsidiaries, manufactures avionics, runway lighting systems, fuel sensors, and other aerospace equipment. Now Patty's going around the corner over here, still looking at that ribbon. She's just saying, look, I got a little bit extra fuel here. I may as well burn it before I go and fly that ribbon. The airplane she flies, the Extra 300S, designed and built by Walter Extra, a state-of-the-art monoplane, one-seat, high-tech composites, certified to plus or minus 10 Gs. The Extra's been modified with an extra-large rudder with a roll rate of 400 degrees a second. She flies this AIO 540 Lycoming engine, improved by Barrett, to produce over 350 horsepower. Here she comes, get ready to cut the ribbon, did I tell you? She's gonna do it upside down. Oh, I knew I forgot something. Well, with one quarter mile to go, she's looking at 160 miles an hour. This is Patty Wagstaff. Not bad. Putting the airplane into a uh, rolling 
180 degree turn. She's going to hold it right there and she'll start rolling it off the other way. She is going to fly in a moment when she turns it back around. She's going to come in here and fly my favorite maneuver, and I think it's going to be coming up next. You saw her fly the octagonal loop with everything on the outside. Negative, negative push. Push, 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 push all the way around. This time she's going to do one that where she is one busy mama in that cockpit. She's going to set up out here to fly an octagonal loop where every leg she'll start it on uh, in the inside, roll it to the outside. Next leg she'll start on the outside and roll it to the inside. Now you can't be a whole lot busier than that. And watch it, she'll do it all eight sides of the octagonal loop by the beautiful stop sign in the sky. Just want to make sure you guys can hear me okay now because we've got the Blue Angels coming up and uh, wouldn't want you to miss a single word that uh, Len Anderson lets on you. Hey. That's right. Marine speaking very, very plainly. All right, Patty's coming in from the left side now. As she gets the airplane up to 160, 170, through 190, through 200, she's looking for 220 miles an hour. She's coming down the bottom now. Watch. This is the inside outside octagonal loop. Side one rolls into the outside. She pushes the stick forward. Side two rolls into the inside. Now look at that beautiful blue sky. Rolls into the inside on side three to the outside. Now here's the push over the top. Momentarily right side up. Now upside down. Inside. And she goes into side number five. Outside uh, the way she rolls it. Now pushes the stick. She's inside. And she rolls it half roll into side number seven. There is uh, the outside roll. The final push out the bottom. And there you have the inside out side octagonal loop. It doesn't get much better than that. Pushing the nose up while she has some room under her. I think she's probably going to try to set up for the launcher block. It starts with the airplane snapping off to the or, or left side outside snap and she'll shove that stick far over to the left front corner of the cockpit. Let's watch her and see how she may not do it. She may not do it. Let's just watch. It's her her fanny in the airplane. That's the whole thing. If pilots fly the airplane, folks, just remember that. When you hear the word air traffic controller, that guy is, uh, is controlling, or the lady is controlling the air traffic, as they say, is uh, sitting inside a nice warm room with a sandwich. All right, as she has just uh, completed the one half loop out the bottom, as she continues to roll the airplane all the way around and now going out to the left side. She continues to climb. And she uh, rolls the airplane, just all outside maneuvers she's doing over there as she puts the nose back towards the ground. And I want to see if what she'll do here is uh, she's got a couple of uh, a couple of neat maneuvers. There go going right by the shockwave now on the toe, going back to the trailer, go down and visit the shockwave. They have some neat shockwave souvenirs for you at the trailer. Patty rolls it into this uh, torque rolls the way it starts, and the only time she has a throttle back, right there, she pulls it back at dead idle and lets the uh, Goodyear, uh, the Goodrich, oh God, the Goodrich Extra 300S, oh, I'm going to get a letter, the Goodrich Extra 300S falls back on its tail, oh Lord, and uh, she takes it out to the right side and prepares to set up the... Uh, there's that uh, three-quarter snap roll into the knife edge, and she holds it right there, and now she'll set up for a series of rolls. Watch her in this clear blue sky. Man, what is it the Blue Angels got for luck that the snowbirds didn't today? Man, they were flying out here with an 1,800-foot ceiling, and we got just gorgeous weather out here now. Patty takes the plane straight up and sets it up. There's a snap on the way up, still pointed straight up with the airspeed bleeds off. And there's where she throws the airplane around that uh, progressive hammerhead, sometimes called the flying bridge, with a uh, roll and a half up uh, coming out the top and heads the other way. All right, Patty Wagstaff again turns the stick back on, comes back down here in front of us, lifts the nose, and climbs the airplane and tosses it, actually makes it tumble away from you as it continues across the sky. And I want to see, is she going to do it to the left today? To the left? Golly. Oh, no, she, I think she wants a reposition out here. A series of snap rolls. She will do a, uh, a snapping turn, and what she does is she snaps it to the left and turns to the right. Now, once again, you know, never having actually flown with her through this maneuver, I can't tell you, but she's got to be mighty busy when she does it. Doing a series of uh, rolls over here, 
one one turn, two turn, and now five. There's six. There's and now she starts to snap it to the left and roll it to the right. And every time she has it upright, she has to yank the stick back, kick the runner around, and make it snap and still make the airplane keep turning to the right. And that's what she's doing right now. And that has absolutely got to hurt. As she takes it around, but she'll call it off in just a moment because we agreed several years ago not to direct energy towards the spectators area. If something falls off the airplane, we don't want it coming into the spectators. So she calls it off and does another series of snap rolls as she looks down towards the left side. Man, I'll tell you, I absolutely love that. Patty would like to uh, thank all of her sponsors for their support. Goodreads, Light Gorming, Barrett Performance Aircraft, Aeroshell, Macaulay Propeller, Bose makes a noise canceling headsets, relief band, Michelin tires for those high speed landings, Lord Asian Mountain, snaps it a couple of times, and she's going to kick the rudder back and forth because she's flying and you're not, and she's saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Patty flies champion spark plugs. Uh, she uses the Iridium uh, champion. Uh, Concord Battery, making the finest lightweight batteries available. Thanks to all of them for keeping her in the air in the beautiful Goodrich Extra 300S. And by the way, if you would like to know where you can go to find Patty Wagstaff's uh, goodies, you can find them on the web at uh, aerobaticsource.com. If you'd like to just remember that, aerobaticsource.com, as Patty turns into the knife edge and flies it down the way one last time before she Yes, sir. Aerobaticsource.com will get you all that you ever wanted to know about Patty Wagstaff and also will give you the opportunity to buy some of her uh, aerobatic goodies. If you are interested in that, you know where to find them. Visit your nearest Super Kmart and Big Kmart to stock up with all the groceries and sundries you'll need and all in one incredible store. In addition, at our Super Kmart, you'll find a full variety of fresh produce, meat, deli, and bakery items, Kmart, your hometown store. Also, we want to thank the Virginia Opera for uh, loaning us a singer for our national anthem this morning. Boy, he knocked my socks off. Uh, Virginia Opera artist uh, will be singing tomorrow. Discount coupons, 20% off tickets to Norfolk Evening Productions, available as the Suncom booth for the Valkyrie. And if you love Wagner, you'll love this.